Hello, my name is Jamisha Baysmore. I am the owner and illustrator for Coco Twins. In this class, I will show you how to create a virtual background in Zoom using Canva. So we're going to use Canva as our design tool. So let's get started. First, I'm going to open up the desktop application for Zoom. And I want to show you, and when I do that, let me go back, close this out. So first you have to download the app for Zoom. Okay, once you get it downloaded, you'll be able to open the app on your desktop or on your smart device, like your iPhone or your iPad. And in this class, I am showing you guys how to do it on a laptop utilizing the Windows or Windows 10 as my um, platform. Okay, so once you get the Zoom app opened, you're going to select the wheel settings. Then you're going to select virtual background. And here is where you select your backgrounds. This is what they have added already in Zoom. But you can add your own virtual background, an image, and a video. And you select which one you want to add and then you just upload it and it'll show up in your screen. And I'm gonna show you how to do that utilizing Canva as your design tool to create your virtual background. So let's go into Canva. And in Canva, let me close out of here. And in Canva, what you can do is open up Canva and I included a link for you to be able to um, gain a 90 day free trial period of Canva in the class as well, or you'll be able to find it in um, the description for the class. So once you get into Canva, all you have to do is select Create Design, and you can type in Zoom, and it will bring up the Zoom template for your design. So this is the proper size that it should be. Here are, are some options that they already have set up for you, but you can create your own. Let's see here. So we're just going to, let's, do we want to do a video or do we want to do, oh, let's do a video. So we're going to do stickers because I want to do a video and um, let's see here. The stickers are what provide an action, an animation. So that's an animation. So now I'm going to go ahead and upload maybe one of my images. Let's see here. We're going to upload maybe a little doctor, a little nurse. And then I want to add an element of a box so it looks like she's on it or she's pe peeking over it. And I'm going to set the color to black. And all I'm doing right now is creating my design for my virtual background. Move this to the back. And then I can do add text. So when someone, if you host a meeting using Zoom and someone comes into your class, if you have your background, your virtual background turned on, this is what they'll see. So you can create multiple backgrounds for whatever your subject is going to be, which is great for teachers. Or even I could just do this, let's see. And I'm going to change the color to white and set the height of the text maybe to 72. Let's go let's stretch that out a little bit more. And I'm going to duplicate this because I want to be able to see the text. I'm going to move it up here. And I am going to change just the color to maybe the color of her face mask. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the transparency and move it back so that way the text is sitting on top. 
position, center, and the page. Or maybe I'll just do this. Let's delete this out. Let's move her up. Move her little board up and move this down. There we go. Now we have a better balanced picture. Position, let's center it. And then we could go ahead and download it. And we can actually see, download this as a video because it needs an MP4 and then select download. My system is set up to save my downloads automatically to my desktop. So you're gonna see the file in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen once, it's, once it downloads. And it's just about done. Once it downloads, I could go ahead and go back into my virtual background and I can select the wheel, select virtual background, add, add image, go to my downloads. See details, because I actually want to see what I downloaded today. If it downloaded, where is it? Showing folder. See, where is it located? Where did I put it? Hmm, there it is. So I want to add video. Put that up. And now this is my background. Okay. And then you can add as many as you want, or you can use what they have. And you can also go into Zoom and create more. And that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. My name is Jamisha Baysmore. I am the owner and illustrator for Coco Twins. And today I showed you guys how to create your own virtual background using utilizing Canva as your design tool. So that way you can upload it into Zoom and you can hide or not hide, but mask the back, your background. And you can use this as a communication tool, you know, your background. You can use it um, as a way to draw your audience's attention, um, your students' attention. Um, you can put up your lesson plan. You can do just about anything just to communicate who you are and to mask your background. Thank you so very much for watching. My name is Jamisha Baysmore, and I look forward to bringing you more tutorials on or in designing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.